Hey, YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, let's get into Family Chantel, the final season. Uh, it was bittersweet. I mean, I hate to see the show go. I don't know if it's been canceled yet, but all I can say is good riddance to Lydia, Pedro, and Chi Chi. The young one, Nicole, we call her Chi Chi in this house. Good riddance, and they got what they deserve. Uh, Chantel and her family, the Everett's, I only wish them well. They are a wholesome, great family, intact family that's love, ca loving, caring, and they've got a beautiful daughter, Chantel, who's got the world ahead of her. I mean, she's got, she can do a lot of things, and I'm looking forward to seeing what she gets, it, gets into in the new year in the future. All right, let's get into the final season. A couple of points, I'll make this short and sweet. But uh, I think what this last season has done, it's pretty much crystallized what we've already known about Pedro, the Jimena family, and the Everett family. The Jimena family, a family of hustlers, petty thieves, um, and you can tell they don't, Pedro don't come from a well intact family. Pedro does not come from a family that's very healthy. They are severely dysfunctional. And then you contrast that with uh, Chantel's family, the Everett's, a family that's intact. They have a church home, they have friends, they seem to live in a more healthier and loving environment. Unfortunately, Chantel had to learn like we all do. You're gonna, like everybody plays the fool. Remember that song, everybody plays the fool. There's no exception to the rule. Falling in love is such an easy thing to do. But there's no guarantee that the one you love is gonna love you. I mean, it's a lesson that we all have to learn and Chantel, you're gonna be fine because you've got the support of your family and you come from a healthy background. Whereas Pedro and the Jimena family, Pedro, you messed up. You already had, you came here and you found an intact family. Chantel, they loved you and they would have loved your children. They would have been good people. Uh, you would have built your family from a, a foundation that's already well established. But no, you are a hustler. Uh, just like Miss Megan Markle, hustlers and swindlers, um, you know, they do, they dwell in the, the uh, you know, the sewer. And that's really, they like, like, what do they call them, peasants? But I say more, they dwell in the sewer. If you look at the, the decisions Lydia makes, and that's where Pedro comes from, Lydia. Lydia had babies with married men. She's got multiple baby daddies. I don't think she's ever been married. She's never had a long-term relationship. She's always swooning somebody. As soon as this guy, this season, that guy that came to DR um, and used her, left her for uh, his girlfriend and came back and they got into it. I can't remember his name, but all I wanna say is two thumbs up for him because he really checked her and all her kids. He would have beat the shit out of Pedro. Pedro, that man had a lot of muscle, old muscle. 51 years old with a lot of old muscle. He would have beat the shit out of you. And Chi Chi, you're grinning for what? What are you grinning about? What are you grinning? And your mom said, called you a call girl. So you're a prostitute? Also, Lydia just slept with this man and she was so desperate and took him back after he dumped her, which shows you Lydia where her mindset is. She's, it's not there. They're not healthy people. And that guy she was sleeping with, I can't think of his name. He said it right. He said, Lydia will always be alone. Michichi will always be alone. And Pedro will always be alone. I don't think Pedro would be alone, but Pedro will not find a good woman like Chantel, who's beautiful, who's very kind and wholesome, who comes from a well intact family and who hasn't been ran through in all these Atlanta streets, all those Atlanta streets. That's not, that's not Chantel. So Pedro, you had you dropped a diamond. You dropped a jewel. And she had the family, you, her family was supporting her and you. All you had to do, but you're not comfortable with a, an intact family because you don't know nothing about that, Pedro. So anyways, Pedro, I think when I saw him reflecting on some of the, uh, the scenes where he was reflecting in the house, a part of him knows that he screwed up. But he's can't he can't be but what he is. And look at his product. It's bad breeding. Another example of bad breeding. Really, if you take a look at Lydia in her life, Lydia knows nothing about 
commitment in a relationship and family, keeping your family together and all that stuff. She never invested in kind of lifestyle. She know nothing about it. So that's why she really disliked fa uh, family Chantel. She disliked Karen and her husband, who they've been married, what, over 30 years. And marriage is not hard. But any time a couple can stay married that long, keep it together, and they seem to have beautiful children, and they're bred, they bred their children well, I mean, there's something to it. But Lydia, you didn't even bother to do that. You didn't bother to pick a husband and do the traditional route. You decided to go the hustle and horror route. And your daughter's doing the exact same thing. So Pedro had no chance. Pedro, you better hope that the immigration don't get you and send you back. Because you got into the relationship in the beginning with uh, um, Chantel. It was fraud. Fraud in the inducement of that contract between you and um, Chantel. And I would say if I was the judge, I would send you back because that was fraud from day one. All right, guys. Now, as far as Chantel, I wish Chantel the best. I hear that she's got like a million million followers on Instagram. I'd like to see Chantel come back in her haunt with, and, and the family, because I like all of them. So I'll be watching. You guys let me know what you think of the final season of the family, Chantel. And where do you think the future lies for Pedro and the Jimena family? And of course, Chantel and the Everett's, we know they're walking with God, they're in tech family, and they're beautiful people. So we know it, there's good, nothing but good coming for them in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing Chantel blossom even more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the uh, chat, and I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.